Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the 17th episode of my Let's Play of my Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. Um, we lost our thief last episode, it was really sad, uh, but we are getting pretty powerful, so maybe maybe our King Carl will grace us with another thief later on, but for right now, I don't. it's not even that big of a deal that we lost it. I think it's tied to Novgorod or Piskov, but for some reason we took Piskov back and we didn't get Slansky back, which is really weird. Um, like I said, it might be tied to Novgorod because I don't see any other ones that would be tied to Novgorod besides that one. And I think Piskov is tied to Lonk. I don't know. It's really weird how it works out. But we could probably go and raid stuff, but since we're noble, we might not want to raid things. What's our speed? 4.8? We're going to chase down these Brigadans. I want to have some action early on. We're going to help the patrol clearly and we'll charge against the enemy's 27 troops. So yeah, I don't think we need to, well, here, uh, we're going to uh, infantry, cavalry, and then our, uh, oh no, sorry, marksman, marksman, you guys get on the firing line, but we're going to hide down here with our infantry and stuff because like, we don't want them to get shot just randomly for no reason. Right, cavalry, go ahead and charge, infantry, go and support the uh, the archers. Nice, we're getting some good kills now with this, because this gun is pretty good, as well as, um, we're actually getting pretty good at actually shooting it. And I played for the, I, I just, I'm, this is right after the last episode, so I'm actually in practice, I'm not being a moron, <laughs> like usual. Yeah, like, look at that, we got pretty lucky with that one, I think, but. Let's have our infantry charge, too. Boom. Headshot. <laughs> uh, not really, but. Still, still fun. Ooh, right next to him. I feel like the crosshairs in this game lie, because like I've I've never shot that wide before. I don't think. And commonly, when I aim like in a group, if I don't have anybody in the exact middle, I don't hit anything. Yeah, you're welcome. We'll capture these brigadians and all this other stuff here. Who's that rider there? Perhaps it is Victor returning from... Oh, I can't speak badly of him. He's a decorated and courteous gentleman. He always praises me my cooking. You know, he's very kind, you know. If you see him, tell him to hurry to my lunch. I saved some delicacies for him. Were my husband, were my husband that gallant and, and sultry, I wouldn't have broken my rolling pin on his head. Oh, good. They're, that means our people are getting along. Thank God. Because we don't want them to not get along. It sounded like she was being sarcastic for a moment, but like, I guess you know, there's no there's no sarcasm in this game. <laughs> so let's uh, let's trade some stuff with these guys. Maybe they want some fish or firearms. I don't know. We'll take their flax though. Actually, that flax was expensive. No, we're not taking it. It's too expensive. We'll take your beef though, because I know that beef is gonna sell for more. So we'll trade you for all this other crap, and then we'll take your apples and your grapes and your olives. All right now, let's see if we can't trade that stuff at the uh, at the fortress down here for more. And uh, let's see, we're gonna go to the town center, to the commander here, and we're going to speak with him to hire. Oh, good, we can actually get our forces. I like to recruit those men. And now let's recruit more. It's good that we already have those guys going. We want more lifeguards, definitely. We want some more crosier spearmen, definitely. We want some more uh, Swedish rotiers. Those are really good, and that's all we want. We're gonna just start cherry picking now, and we're gonna have like a whole thing full of lifeguards and stuff, and it'll be awesome. Anyways, let's go to the marketplace. Like we said, we're gonna trade these uh, grapes. Good, good. Everything sold sold for a little bit more than we bought it for, and that's that's the name of the game here. We're gonna buy some more fish, of course. <laughs> we have so much fish and fur. We need to go south, but I, I'm afraid because we're at war right now, and I, I want to help out in the sieges that we do, but I just don't know where. They're gonna be. Why wouldn't I don't understand why we don't go siege Novgorod? Because Novgorod would be an easy siege, and uh, but whatever, they're probably just defending or fighting somewhere randomly. So let's see. Uh, does well, we already went to that place, I know. Uh, so he does. She does not like Teeps, but she likes Victor. Hmm. Let's see. Who's let's. You have my support in this, but um, let's see, who's 
Teeps is really good, but Envarna only does wound treatment. But in order to have... Well, but he has only trade and one tracking. Oh no, that's us. <laughs> no, Teeps has everything. He has five tactics, three spotting, two engineering. We need him. Teeps is very important, so never mind. We're going to kick him out. Kick her out if she causes any more trouble. Let's go here. We're going to sell them. Oh, they don't want my fish, but they will take... We'll buy their apples and their wheat. And sell it at Pulse. Carl Garza sends words. He wishes you to join his military campaign. At least eight troops. Sure. All right, we'll try to find him in a second. All right, good. Hopefully we'll go take Novgorod and get Slansty back so we can have our, our thing. Um, yeah, we'll sell all this beef and all these apples. And wow, look at how much inventory space we have. That's really cool. We're going to get 700 Thalar. We'll take two more furs then. We have so much fish. So much freaking fish. Um, how cheap is the fish here? We'll buy more fish. And the dried meat is cheap here too, so we'll dry, buy that as well. Everything else is extremely, exceedingly expensive. Alright, so let's get out of here. Alright, so Carl. Let's go find Carl. He's probably over here somewhere. So we'll hurry up and try to figure out where he is. Some of our soldiers... Oh, hello. Can we talk to you? No, let's talk to Simon here. General Simon. Do you know where Carl is, my friend? He should be on his... He should be close to... Rehav's, Rehav's Fortress. I must beg my leave of you then. Where is that? It's probably right there. All right. So we're just going to ride that way. And then on the way we can step in uh, Rayinda and Kravichi and uh, sell our fish maybe. There's a bunch of places here so... Oh good, we got her up to level 5. But too bad we're going to have to kick her out. Oh, there you go. You can have some fish. We'll take your flax and your apples. We paid like 20 for the fish so I'll sell it until it goes down to... yeah. All right, and then we'll sell it to Kravichi here. Take their hides, sell them some fish down until it gets to 30. Good. Take their beef as well. And let's go to Yartsea. That beef is going to go bad, so hopefully we can sell the beef here. Nope. Will these guys take fish? They're not going to take that much. It's fine. Do they want flax or something? Hides, maybe? Apples? Nope. Dried meat? Yeah, the dried meat is actually pretty good. We'll keep that around. We want to sell the beef at the vill at the town, though. And we want to keep some fish, I guess. Alright, so let's go up to here to Sarista. Staricia. See if they got anything. No, their beef is pretty expensive here, so we'll at least make money off it. I don't want to keep it because it's going to go bad by the time we finish the siege up here. All right, so let's let's see if we can't find our King Carl here. Of course not. Carl, where'd you go? Oh well, I'm gonna keep an eye out for him. I haven't even seen a single person. Maybe, hopefully, at Duprat Fortress, there's someone we can talk to at least. Oh, thank God, there's a lady here. Sweet. Ma'am. Ma'am. Can you tell us where your king is? Are you serious? No. <laughs> Alright, fine. In uh in the other one they let you in the in Mountain Blade you can actually ask them where the people were, but I guess not in this one. Well, we can probably get more men. Sweet, I'd like to recruit those men. Now let's get those dragoons, those lifeguards, cruciers. Swedish Rattier, Scottish Musketeer, and that's it. How many? How much party do we have now? Wow, 61, 61, good. Let's go to Nor Norava. See if we can't pin down the location of... Um... Nope, nobody's here. Are there any sieges going on? Because that would probably say where they were. There seriously is nothing happening here. What are we doing? Where are you? Please tell me that's like a friendly lord or something. No, it's disorders. Crap. All right, come on. Where? No one's there. Let's check down here. <gasps> hey, General Simon, is that you? Come here. Don't run from me. 
I need to find the king. Wait. Oh, sure. I'll do that. But, uh, General, sorry, I, I didn't mean to click that fast, but, um, where, I wish to ask you something. Where's King Carl? He is in Kravici at the moment. Where is that? Right there? God damn it, Carl. Crap, we failed the quest to report to him. Oh, damn it. Oh well. That's fine. We'll just find uh, the the bad guy. Oh, my stupid cat came in again. Whatever. Go away. Alright, so we're going to try to find him. He is right there. That should be easy. We'll just go shoot him in the face. Hopefully. Or as you know, that's not always going to work, because last time we did this, it was like we got raped. So let's take a walk around the village. Is it nighttime? No, he should still be out. It's still dusk, so there's people walking about, so... There's the the elder, probably. He's probably just hiding back here somewhere. We'll find him eventually. Is this him? No, that's a guy. He's just walking into the... It's the village elder, commoner. Oh, there's this guy standing a stealth. Hey, get out of my way. Hello. Commoner. Where's... Have you seen any suspicious men? Well... Oh, hello. You look like you're nervous. Well, let's go talk. Let's talk to him on our horse because I don't want to. All right, watch this, guys. All right, all right. Now we're just gonna run away on our horse because this is this is the mistake I made last time. We let this guy kill us and we failed the quest, and he took all our money and stuff, and it sucked. Boom. That's right. We hunted you down. These people don't like us because we just killed the guy in their town. But hey, we can find out. Uh, now where's uh, where's our pal? Hey man, is this you? Hey. Where is um? May I ask you where Simon is? Simon, where's Simon? Come on, I swear to God the guy's name was Simon. There he is. Alright, he should be close to Devens Castle at the moment. That means he's right there. Alright, good. Is this him? Yeah, there he is. Hi, Simon. Um, I think if we don't take the money, we get honor. So good, we gained honor. We also got more relation with him. I must pick my leave of you. Sorry. Well, at least we had something to do since we couldn't find the freaking Carl. Let's go to the marketplace here. Some more fish, but ooh, the hide is gonna sell flax. Yes, good. Okay, good. And we can sell this dried meat if we wished, but nah, that's alright. We're gonna take all their money. I want to check out the arms merchant because I have never seen a good stuff here. I wish we had a faster sword. That's the only thing. Like, speed rating, 96. Let's see, is there anything that's faster? 97? Definitely not this pike. But this sword is 97, so it's a little faster, but it's a thrusting sword, so we don't really want that, I don't think. These bolts do plus 4 damage? Oh, we already have those. It might be nice to have a shield, but honestly, I think we're alright. Anyway, since we don't really need to worry about the war or anything right now, we might as well head south. And sell all the fish and stuff. Then maybe later we can actually fight in Russia's territory or something. Here, uh, let's go to Liv. Or Livy. Liv, Liv, Liv. I don't know how to pronounce these things. Damn it. Alright, we'll sell all these furs here. That's gonna be a good price. Um, we got a lot of tools, but they're overpriced. Flour, I guess, is cheap here, but uh, the fish is really cheap. They don't want to buy my fish. Oh, they do, actually. Never mind. I was just looking at the one that we had almost finished eating. 
We'll keep that amount of food though, because we need food. Let's buy flour though. We'll buy some flour. I think we can get like 120 for it at villages. So let's start stop at the villages on the way back up to the north and sell those things. We got Victor up to another level. Good. Wow, this village is rich. We'll sell them all of this flour. Sweet. Do they have anything good? Apples and beef, maybe? Nah, it's too expensive. But uh, we do want the cabbages, because that's food for us. And apples, I guess, are good too, because, I mean, they're cheap. Normally, we can't afford them at the towns. Oh, well. How are we doing money-wise? We've gone up almost. Good. Or some. We're probably going to just spend it all now. Upgrading our troops and stuff. Verana. I'm going to move you down, because we're probably going to tell you to go away. Sorry, Verana. Right, we need to go our separate ways, yes, I said. Alright, Teeps, we're going to level you up, buddy. Tell me about your skills. Intellect 16. Awesome. We can give you another point in your... Who's our Pathfinder? He's a good spotter, but who's our Pathfinder? Oh, we'll put two points in Engineering, because we might, we might actually do a Siege by ourselves one day. We'll put your weapon points there. No time to talk. Victor, I love your hat. Can we talk about your skills, though? Put you another point here. And then that can give you maybe another point in tactics, but I think he has five tactics tips. This. So what's your pathfinding? Zero. What else other stuff? We'll give you training points. How about that? And you can have more one-handed. Nothing. Let's take down these brigadians. Can we can we ever catch them? They're four point they're five point two. They're a little fast for us. So let's see if we can engage some more Russians, because that was really cool. That one fight where we turned into a wagon fort and just raped them. Is Carl here? That's General Simon, so. Whoa. Oh, hello. Halt! Good, he ge general. <clears throat> um, we'll fight you to the end, and we're going to charge the enemy. Of course. Why wouldn't we fight you to the end? All right, cavalry, cavalry. Um, all right, I guess we're charging. Marksmen, infantry, and right, let's shoot the sh crap out of these guys here. We're gonna lose a bunch of men here, most likely, I would assume, because those those cavalry men look pretty strong compared to us. I'll shoot you. How about that? That's what you get for stabbing me. Oh, good. Our ally has a lot of marksmen as well. Marksmen are good. I like that we don't get affected by our own marksmen's shots. That's nice. Sweet. And we killed a new or new order marksman. Good. Let me stand up. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just gonna keep moving around here to just avoid getting uh, getting shot. Nice. All right. Um, New Order pikemen killed by a lifeguard. Good. Boom. So we killed a yeah another New Order a veteran this time and we got sixty two experience points. Good. God. Another one down. Same same thing. Oh well, we can just start killing all these guys over here because it's gonna give us some good points. Ow! Oh, we got shot with an arrow. Ouch. In the middle of our reload, too, so that kind of sucks. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, god. Are we gonna... Thank god we didn't die. Where's our archers? Why are my marksmen charging? Marksmen, hold. Hold your ground, marksmen. Come on, we need you to use your guns, not your, uh... Not your swords. You suck at your swords. Oh, sh did I just shoot my own? Oh, I shot my own German pikemen, or my allies German pikemen at least. Are these our musketeers? Good. All right, you guys, come on. Show me what you're made of. The enemy's got quite a lot of forces. Hmm? So let's see if we can't shoot this guy. Nice, nice. Oh, wow, that was like a, a guy we killed. His name was Kim Kimlak. Or something. Or maybe that's the name of his unit, but I, I think that's actually the name of the guy that we killed. Nice. Good. More more allies coming in. 
Can't believe that didn't connect. Fire. Well, we did some damage to the horse. I think we just dismounted one of our enemies. That's good. Keep firing. Move up. We got them now. Nice. Oh, thanks for taking that bullet for us, friend. Let's go and help our Swedish Raytiero over here. Boom! That's right, we ran you over, buddy. What, are you gonna try to come here now? Ooh, you wish? You're gonna wish that you got that shot. Alright, fine, I'll cut your head off. How about that? Boom. We didn't actually kill you, though. So let's uh, let's cut your head off try one more time. There we go. <laughs> that worked. Alright, we'll come in and kill this guy then. How about you? Hey! Come back here. I sliced you. I'm gonna try to kill this guy. Nice. Well, at least we increase our one-handed. Oh, he's way too far for that. Is this seriously all the troops we have left? We lost 28 men? My god. Well. Well, that's alright. Let's get our gun back out. Or no, sword. Come on. <laughs> oh god, don't shoot me. I'm so afraid now. Because there's a guy behind us, right? No, that's just us. Come on, kill him. Drive him into the pikeman. Alright, fine. I'm just going to get my gun out and just... Of course I get my gun out right when he decides to slow down. Alright, well, come here. I'm just going to stand right behind you and shoot you. There we go. Nice. Oh, sweet! That was the last guy! Awesome! Nice job, Ronell. She's a good shot now. Alright, so we lost uh, 52. Dang! Oh, you're my prisoner now? Or should we free him? I don't know. You're my prisoner now. I want you to be my prisoner. Oh, we rescued quite a few, so that's good. We're going to be able to replenish our ranks somewhat. Veteran lifeguards, good. Very happy. Pikeman. Armored Cossack, cool. These are weird ones. We've never seen them before. Germans and Germans and some volunteers. We're going to leave the volunteers and we're just going to capture these guys. Another lifeguard veteran and another dragoon veteran. Yay! Got four of those. Pretty good. Cool. Alright. Well, we don't actually have anywhere to keep him, but hey. We'll take you guys here. Maybe they'll get us, we'll get a ransom for him or something. Piskov got retaken by the, uh, oh sweet, we could actually siege that. They only have 50 troops. Let's do that. I want to siege it. I want to siege it. I want to siege it. Do you have troops ready for me? Tell me you have troops ready for me. Come on. Yes, you do. Sweet. Right. Well, so we're going to recruit some more men here. Now, do we have a full party? Yeah. All right. Let's go siege it. Narava has been besieged. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, damn it. Is there no way to avoid battle? We have 48 troops fit for battle. Uh, how many men? Only 15 soldiers. All right, let's see that. We're going to lose a lot of morale, but that's okay, because we're going to get to run. We're going to run south and um, and go to the castle here and pick up more men. Let's go to the... Not the mayor. Crap. We just didn't want to fight that guy. Commander, come on. Tell me you got troops ready for me. Yes, sweet. All right, now give me those dragoons. Some more lifeguards down here. Some more Swedish retiers. Uh No, not Scottish pikemen. Uh, let's get Scottish musketeers. Crusiers. That's it. Good. Alright, so those guys should be ready by the time we are done with the siege, hopefully, or whatever. I hope our party will heal up, because that's really important. We need tapes, because he's got some good skill in the uh, sieging. So yeah, how are you doing, tapes? You're, oh, 25%, I believe, is the, uh, the, the cutoff. Who's fighting over here? 
Wow, they chased those forges really far away. Let's see, besiege the town. Prepare ladders. Poison the city's water. Oh wow, there's actually a lot using an explosive. Oh, okay. Um Poison the city's water? Oh crap. This is not good. Oi, you there! Stop! What the hell? We just got raped in five seconds. Are you serious? And now we lost all our freaking clothes and crap? Oh my god, that's stupid. Alright, I accepted the offer. Now can we escape? Did we lose all our items? Yes, they took my freaking gun. Damn it. Well, let's go buy a sword. Well, that was stupid. I was just trying to press buttons to see what would happen, and it made me die. Oh, well, we need to go to the arms merchant. Well, they got the cool carbines here, so simple wheel like carbine. All right. Good for me. Uh, we need a sword or something, but um, maybe there's one. Maybe there's one to the south here in the other castle. Let's see, uh, marketplace arms merchant. Oh, there's some nice big old swords, but I want a fast sword with nut thrust. I want stab, swing. No, nothing good there. Well, I mean, we kind of need a sword, so let's uh, let's go to the other fortress over here. See if there's a market, anything good on the market here. Wow, that's a big pus. That's a big one. Ooh, a simple yagatang. Ooh, speed rating is really fast. Let's do that. We'll buy this. It's a one-handed uh, swing. Good. I mean, the reach is really slow, but we'll be fast, so that's that'll be fine. I'll make up for it. All right. Good. And then let's uh, let's go to the goods merchant here. We're gonna get some cheap fish. Beef is really expensive. All right. And now let's go back to Piskov. Maybe we'll pass some friends along the way. Here, can we get you to follow me? Um, Lee, follow me. I have some ideas. Yeah, I'll follow you. I'm following, I'm following you from the front. We're going to siege Piskov. Come on. Are we still... Let's go to Navarra, because we might want to help them defend. How many are there? My god, that's a lot of men. How many is it? Wow. I wish the rest of the kingdom would come to help. Oh, there they are. Oh, nope, just one. What are you doing? No, there's a million of them. Run away. Okay, we got some troops ready to upgrade, though. At least we are getting our men upgraded. Yeah, no, come on, we need to all get together and do this. Together. Come on, we can do this. Oh look, they, they abandoned it, I guess. They abandoned the siege for like no reason. Well, let's see if we can't get the uh, Piskov, that'd be cool. And then if, if we take it, then uh, then they'll give it to us most likely, I think. All right, well, let's, let's set up a siege. Besiege the town. We're going to prepare ladders to attack the walls. It should take 11 hours. Do it right now. If anybody comes, we're going to run, so we need to pay attention. All right, so let's lead our soldiers in an assault. All right, we're gonna... I don't really know how the sieges work in this game, what's the optimum strategy, but it's definitely not to... to uh, we're gonna have to be careful here. But I mean, we can always go... We, we already paid for a bunch of troops, so we can get a bunch more back easily. So let's, uh, let's have the marksmen come here. The infantry and the cavalry can go ahead and charge, that's fine. I can't believe we can't hit those guys, they're so freaking close. Infantry and cavalry go. You guys freaking hold, form a line back here. No, what are you doing? These idiots are just standing there? Are you serious? Well, let me try this. 
Follow me. How about that? There, that fixed him. All right, now hold here. I'm telling them to hold, and they're not listening. Oh, well. Maybe we'll be able to get up on this ladder again like last time. Fine, I guess everybody just charge and stand there randomly. Since that seems to make more sense to them, we'll let them do it. All right, well, come on, break through, break through, break through, break through. There's got to be like only, yeah, we, are, we already got troops in there. Come on, keep going. Quit your shooting and go. Move, move, move. Good. Good boys. They listen to me. All right, well. Can we see the enemies? Nope. Well, how many have we killed and how many? We've lost 13 and we killed 20. All right, their whole army is here. So as soon as we kill these guys, we win and we get the castle for ourselves, most likely. All right, there's their army. I'll just sit here and shoot them. Like, this is a really good... I like this castle. It's nice to shoot out of this window. And since we have so many bullets, we're just going to be able to just pew-pew all day. Well, we're improving our proficiencies, too. I just hope they don't come up here and try to hurt me. <clears throat> Where's our troops from over there? We have only lost 27, they lost 51. They only have 18 left. This is their last to their army here. And they can't decide whether they want to shoot me or or uh, or stab those guys that are next to them. Well, whatever. We can. Well, I know what I want to do. I want to shoot them all to death, so I can do that pretty easily. I just got to keep my eye on my back here. I wish we could get a headshot every once in a while, you know? Kind of sucks that we haven't gotten one yet. I don't know what the hell they're doing, though. It seems like we're having a pretty easy time just laying into him up here. I'm interested to try out our sword. I wonder if we're going to... Because I keep getting caught by faster weapons. And now that we're going to have a super fast weapon, I hope that that's going to make us... Give us the advantage. What are they doing over there? Do we still have any forces? Oh, they're just standing there. We have 12 ready. 20 wounded, 30 dead. They have 10 ready. Let's, uh, uh, how about everyone charge? Wow, we missed? Are you serious? What are they doing? They're just standing there. And then I bet you the rest of our army is just, like, standing down, down there. Dang it. What the heck is wrong? Why do we keep missing? Good, good. What's happening over here? Oh, they're fighting down here. There we go. That will help. That's what they were doing. I was like, I know we don't have just two units. Alright, so I guess they're not going to shoot at us. So this is actually pretty cool. Alright, and then we're going to just kill the final one right there. And the victory shall be ours. Was that the last one? No, there's a couple guys over here. Nice, nice. Good job, men. Well fought. Well fought. And we, of course, can ask for this town now as ours. Of course, we were victorious. We lost quite a lot of men, though. Um, request that it's uh, awarded to me. The property of t our lord. There's room in the city. Our lord is opening a banking house, you know. Okay. Who owns this town, though? Does it tell us? No. I guess we have to wait a little bit. Anyways, let's go to the town center. There's no commander here yet. But we need to go get more troops. Here, we're going to go to... Can we manage the garrison? So I guess we can't. We just have to sit here and wait till our king decides whether or not he wants to let us have it or not. Which is really stupid. Why can't we manage the garrison? That's dumb. Oh well. Let's go over, pick up some troops, hopefully, from these two castles. Go to the commander here. Good. We can, we're gonna set up more guys coming. 
Ooh, ooh, I don't want musketeers anymore. Let's just get the other guys. And then the Swedish rotiers, good. Um, all right. All right, so we should have a pretty sizable okay party now. Some more lifeguards. Let's go to the other part fortress over here and get more troops. Good, he's got his men ready for us too. All right, we're gonna get some dragoons. We're gonna get some lifeguards. Crossier, Swedish right here, Scottish musketeer, and that's it. All right, good. So we should have a full party now. And now that we actually have a place to put all these guys, we could probably get a huge amount of units just by recruiting and going around and uh, making garrisons and stuff. I really hope that nobody comes in Hurston or Piskov before we get a chance to build up the garrison here. I mean, we have no fiefs, so that's going to be in our favor. But uh, sadly, I think that's what we're going to have to put that off till next episode, guys, because for some reason, I guess they're taking forever to give us the say on who gets what. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Spray and pray out.